From birth, the word fat was attached to my name. My parents referred to me as their fat daughter. Siblings called me their fat sister. Cousins teased me that I was their fat cousin. Even aunts and uncles greeted me with hugs and kisses saying, Aww, my fat niece. For a while, I thought fat was my middle name. One memory that has never left my side was my mother's boyfriend making pig noises every time I went into the refrigerator. To him, he felt it would help me, but to a seven-year-old young girl, it broke me. I would laugh and walk away, fighting my tears. As soon as I went to my room, I would cry like a baby. People say words don't hurt, but that stung and burned me every time. When I reached grade school, the fat name calling only got worse, and I began to go into a shell. My grandmother noticed I began to change, and she said to me, no grandchild of mine will ever feel that they are unworthy and is not beautiful. She will talk to me for hours and hours about inner beauty and pointing out all of my great qualities. At times, she will point at me and on the spot, I will have to name something great about myself, whether it was physical or internal. When she passed, I felt my world was going to end. Who is going to teach me now about loving myself? Then I began to realize why she spent so many hours helping me build my self-esteem. She wanted me to hear it and to say it so many times until I finally believed in myself. And I did. I took that term fat and owned it. I may was the fat kid, but I was a great person. And that term fat didn't hurt me anymore. I began to love myself every single pound. Whether others saw my beauty was their problem. The only thing that mattered was I knew I was beautiful. Big I may be, but I kept myself up. I dressed nice. I smelled nice. And I made sure I always presented the best me possible. As I began to change, so did the people around me. I went from the ugly, fat black girl to the cute, fat girl who can dress, who was funny, and who was confident. I never knew why people gave half compliments, but whatever. I finally decided to become healthy and make a change. I'm not doing it for anyone but myself. A long road ahead of me, but I will get there. This was written not to motivate you all, but myself. I want to remember where I came from. It may take burning calories and eating healthy for many to lose weight, but for me, it's going to take much more. My problem is much deeper. I need to realize I am more than just that quote-unquote fat girl. Fat was just one of my many titles that I held, and fat is one that I must learn to let go. I cannot continue to live in the past. The point of living is to grow and become wiser. It's time for me to switch from that fat daughter and sister, that fat friend or cousin, to a healthier daughter, to a fit sister, and an inspirational cousin or friend. I will win this battle against obesity. Even if I go down swinging, I will not lose.